Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Explorer. In the last video, we discussed that whether Galois extension of Galois extension is Galois or not with an example. Now we will talk about whether Q root 2 root 3 is Galois extension of Q. So let's start. First of all, the given field is Q root 2 comma root 3. Right now we have two elements attached to Q root 2 and root 3. If we will observe root 2 satisfies a polynomial x square minus 2 over Q right and root 3 satisfies a polynomial x square minus 3 over Q. So if we will multiply these two polynomials let construct a new polynomial. So suppose I am taking f of x equal to so let f of x equal to x square minus 2 into x square minus 3 right now this is a polynomial what what will be the roots of this polynomial so it's simple to understand that the roots of f of x are root 2 then minus root 2 root 3 minus root 3 and further one can also that all of these roots are in q root 2 comma root 3 so q root 2 comma root 3 contains all the roots of this polynomial right so basically q root 2 comma root 3 will become a splitting field of this polynomial because it contains all the roots of those that polynomial further we can observe that all the roots of this polynomial are distinct each and every root is simple because none of the root is repeated right that is it does not have multiple roots so it is a separable polynomial so that is why q root 2 comma root 3 will become a splitting field of separable polynomial over q and that is the reason that q root 2 root 3 is Galois extension of q okay so let me just write those points here clearly q root 2 comma root 3 is splitting field of f of x over q and f of x is separable over q since splitting field of separable polynomial is Galois extension comma q root 2 comma root 3 is Galois extension of q So answer is simple it is Galois extension of q now we can do the same thing in a different manner by using the fact that k is Galois extension of f if a set of all automorphisms of k over f has the same cardinality as that of extension of k over f degree of extension of k over f right so we'll try to prove it in that way so first of all let me write extension here so we have q root 2 comma root 3 as a extension of q right this extension can be obtained in two steps firstly we will take q we will attach q root 2 to q and then we will attach root 3 to q root 2 so in this way we can obtain q root 2 root 3 from q now root 2 here root 2 satisfies a polynomial x square minus 2 okay root 2 satisfies a polynomial x square minus 2 which is of degree 2 so basis of q root 2 over q will be equal to powers of root 2 until 1 so root 2 raised to 0 is 1 root 2 raised to 1 is root 2 so this is basis of q root 2 over q and further root 3 is attached to q root 2 and root 3 satisfies polynomial x square minus 3 right so again degree 2 so basis of q root 2 root 3 over q root 2 will be powers of root 3 until 1 
so root 3 raised to 0 is 1 root 3 raised to 1 is root 3 so basis of q root 2 root 3 over q root 2 is 1 root 3 so the question is what is basis of q root 2 root 3 over q so you have to just multiply these two bases so the basis of q root 2 root 3 over q will be equal to 1 comma root 2 comma root 3 comma root 3 into root 2 means root 6 so this is basis of q root 2 root 3 over q so degree of extension is 4 because number of elements in basis is 4 so degree of extension is 4 so degree of extension of q root 2 root 3 over q equal to 4 mark it as star now let's try to talk about automorphisms of q root 2 root 3 over q one can understand that q root 2 root 3 is obtained by attaching root 2 and root 3 to q so if i want to find out any automorphism of this field i need to understand the image of root 2 and image of root 3 so i need to take care whether root 3 root 2 can be mapped or whether root 3 can be mapped then only i can find the image of element in q root 2 comma root 3 okay so since root 2 satisfies a polynomial x square minus 2 and two distinct roots of x square minus 2 are root 2 and minus root 2 so root 2 can map to root 2 or root 2 can map to minus root 2 further x square minus 3 is a polynomial satisfied by root 3 and distinct roots of this polynomial are root 3 and minus root 3 so root 3 can map to root 3 or root 3 can map to minus root 3 so depending on these combinations we will have four automorphisms so let me write those automorphisms here so first automorphism can be written like this where root 2 maps to root 2 and root 3 maps to root 3 one can easily say that it is nothing but identity right identity map further in the second automorphism i can take root 2 maps to minus root 2 and root 3 maps to root 3 uh, let us call this as sigma then we will move to the third automorphism in which root 2 maps to root 2 now root 3 maps to minus root 3 and this automorphism let us call this as tau now there is still one more automorphism which is a final automorphism root 2 maps to minus root 2 and root 3 maps to minus root 3 now we will try to identify what is this map so first of all to identify this what we will do we will take image of root 2 under sigma tau okay so let's try to understand image of sigma tau of root 2 so sigma tau of root 2 is equal to sigma of tau of root 2 so sigma of tau of root 2 tau of root 2 is root 2 so sigma of root 2 and sigma of root 2 is minus root 2 so sigma tau of root 2 becomes minus root 2 now what is sigma tau of root 3 sigma tau of root 3 is sigma of tau of root 3 so sigma of tau of root 3 is minus root 3 so that is sigma of minus root 3 minus comes out so sigma of root 3 sigma of root 3 is root 3 so sigma tau of root 2 is minus root 2 sigma tau of root 3 is minus root 3 so it's clear now that this map is nothing but sigma tau right so these are the four automorphisms of uh, q root 2 root 3 over q okay so again we can find that so i can just write here so cardinality of automorphisms of q root 2 comma root 3 over q is equal to 4 mark it as double star so now if we'll combine star and double star degree of extension is 4 number of automorphisms is also 4 so from star and double star cardinality of automorphisms of q root 2 comma root 3 over q is same as degree of extension of q root 2 comma root 3 over q and using the definition of Galois extension so q root 2 comma root 3 
is uh, Galois extension of Q. Now I would like to extend this discussion little further and we'll try to understand what is that Galois group basically this identity Sigma tau and Sigma tau what is that Galois group and uh, further what will be the fixed fields of its uh, subgroups so we'll try to understand that in uh, little details okay so now Galois group of uh, Q root 2 comma root 3 over Q is uh, identity then Sigma tau and Sigma tau right now further we can check that uh, what is sigma square so this is a group of four elements so either it can be uh, isomorphic to cyclic group of order four or it can be isomorphic to Klein four group so let's try to understand what kind of group is this so let sigma square of root 2 is equal to sigma of sigma of root 2 but sigma of root 2 is minus root 2 we can check it here right so sigma of root 2 is minus root 2 so sigma of minus root 2 minus will come out so minus of sigma root 2 again sigma of root 2 is minus root 2 so it is minus of minus of root 2 so it is root 2 and uh, sigma square of root 3 can be checked as uh, sigma of sigma of root 3 so that will be equal to sigma of sigma of root 3 is root 3 so root 3 again maps to root 3 so you can easily identify that sigma square under sigma square root 2 goes to root 2 and root 3 goes to root 3 so it's going to be identity right so sigma square is identity similarly we can check that tau square is identity similarly tau square is identity right and one can check that sigma tau square is also identity means uh, let me just check it what is sigma tau square of root 2 so that is equal to sigma tau of sigma tau of root 2 but under sigma tau root 2 goes to minus root 2 so it is sigma tau of minus root 2 minus will come out so sigma tau of root 2 and sigma tau of root 2 is minus root 2 so minus of minus root 2 so answer is root 2 and similarly sigma tau square of root 3 will be root 3 you can check it as as we have checked it here so it is again identity map so sigma tau square is also equal to identity okay so one can easily check that uh, this is a group of order 4 each of the element except identities of order 2 and uh, sigma multiplying two elements sigma and tau we get sigma tau right so that is why this group is isomorphic to Klein 4 group so I can write that Galois group of Q root 2 root 3 over Q is isomorphic to V4 that is Klein 4 group that is the second part and in the last part we will talk about the fixed fields of this uh, automorphism group okay or galva group so basically if we'll find out subgroups we will have identity at the bottom and Klein 4 group at the top rest of the subgroups or instead of saying Klein 4 group I would like to say write it completely so it is uh, identity then Sigma tau and Sigma tau right it will have subgroups one of the subgroups will be identity and sigma because sigma is of order 2 so it will generate a subgroup of order 2 then we will have another subgroup identity and tau again because tau is out of order 2 so it will generate a subgroup of order 2 and similar is the case with sigma tau so that subgroup will be identity and sigma tau so this will be subgroups of uh, this particular Galois group so in total we will have five subgroups in including identity and group itself so if we'll talk about fixed fields so fixed fields calculation of fixed field is not difficult under identity root 2 goes to root 2 root 3 goes to root 3 so all the elements of q root 2 root 3 are fixed okay so that's why for identity fixed field will be q root 2 comma root 3 now in case of sigma one can check let me tell you in case of sigma we have sigma here 
सो इन केस ऑफ सिग्मा रूट टू गोज टू माइनस रूट टू सो रूट टू इज चेंजिंग टू माइनस रूट टू बट रूट थ्री इज फिक्सड सो सिंस रूट थ्री इज फिक्सड फिक्स फील्ड ऑफ ई सिग्मा विल बी क्यू रूट थ्री बिकॉज इट इज नॉट फिक्सिंग रूट टू हाव यूर इट इज फिक्सिंग रूट थ्री सो इट्स फिक्स फील्ड विल बी क्यू रूट थ्री इफ यूल टॉक अबाउट आइडेंटिटी एंड टाउ सो वी कैन चेक हेयर दैट टाउ मैप्स रूट टू टू रूट टू बट इट चेंजेस रूट थ्री टू माइनस रूट थ्री सो फिक्स फील्ड ऑफ ई टाउ विल बी क्यू रूट टू एंड फाइनली टॉकिंग अबाउट ई सिग्मा टाउ सो इन केस ऑफ ई सिग्मा टाउ वी कैन फाइंड दैट इट ओनली फिक्सेस इट नॉट इट डज नॉट फिक्स रूट टू इट डज नॉट फिक्स रूट थ्री बट वी कैन see the basis basis is one uh, root two root three and root six so sigma tau is not fixing root two it is not fixing root three so there is only one basis element left which is root six and we have to check whether it fixes root six or not so if we'll say we can check it here that uh, sigma tau of uh, root six it's going to be root six because sigma tau of root two root three sigma tau is automorphism so sigma tau of root two so let me just tell you sigma tau of root six so sigma tau of root 2 into root 3 but sigma tau is automorphism so this is sigma tau of root 2 sigma tau of root 3 so that's why sigma tau of root 2 is minus root 2 sigma tau of root 3 is minus root 3 product will be root 6 so root 6 is fixed right so that means it fixes only root 6 it does not fixes root 2 and root 3 so fixed field of uh, e sigma tau will be q root 6 and uh, if we'll talk about whole group okay then only rationals can be fixed because sigma does not fixes root 2 tau does not fixes root 3 and sigma tau does not fixes any of them okay so that's why only q can be fixed by all the elements of group so fixed field of this galois group is going to be q so in this way we can find a fixed nature of fixed field as well okay so that is the answer of question Which was raised earlier that what whether q root two root three is Galois extension of q, but in addition to that we have also talked of fixed fields of its Galois group, and we also talked that Galois group is isomorphic to Klein-Fourier group. So with this I stop here. In this discussion, the next question, the Galois group of x cube minus two over q will be answered in the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.